5,720 pounds. The 22RB J Feather right here is a potential contender for a new personal favorite lightweight couples camper. This thing, it looks like a spaceship and it has the equipment package to match. Couple that with an absolutely unparalleled two plus three year warranty. And this is something, whether you want it to be your first or your last one, you're gonna be happy with it. Like it's big brother, the 25 RB, this little uh, kind of well, big rear bath, little couples camper, has great access to the uh, kitchen facilities in transit. And you can open that fridge, at least enough to get to it, and your kitchen storage. But you will have to bump the slide to get up to the bedroom. So it's good for a quick travel and stop, but if you are going to overnight, you are gonna wanna kinda plan on where you park it so you can get in and out of there. That very popular modern farmhouse decor has made its way here into the J Feather family, and I think uh, a lot of people are gonna be seeing the praises of this thing. But what's kind of nice here is there's the modern farmhouse decor, then there's the cashmere cottage. You see the wood tones that are not the lighter? That's kind of what the cashmere cottage looks like all the way through, and it still looks very good. There's also different ways, so it's not just different decors, but like different seating arrangements that you can apply to this thing. We are going to have a variety of them in here. Like this is the optional kind of L lounge or J lounge or whatever angle lounge you want to call it. But sometimes we'll also build this with a theater seat directly across from the entertainment center. So uh, no matter what, we're always going to be focusing on the fact that this is a very entertainment centric floor plan and give you that easy direct viewing. But we're just going to include different seating arrangements to kind of make that happen. Um, sort of like its brother, the 25RB. The 22RB has that extra wide kind of, um, you know, farm style, barn style sliding door right there, which I think fits very well into the whole farmhouse styling that we see. As we approach though, we're greeted by the air conditioner. And one of the things I want to point out here is you can outfit this with a larger 15,000 BTU air, which is probably something we'll be doing a lot of here at Halen RV. Frankly, it's extra cooling power you're never going to regret. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll take that argument 10 times out of 10 right there. Just like all the way up through like a Jayco North Point luxury fifth wheel. We have uh, pocket screwed cabinetry, uh, all lumber core cabinet styles, hardwood door frames, sealed edge countertops through these J feathers, inclusive of that countertop extension leaf right there and the bathroom counters. Um, notice how they wrap that tile splash all the way around the backdrop here. And the flush mount sink and stoves kind of really maximize our prep space. That handy pop-up power tower, there when you need it, gone when you don't, perfect for appliance time. Down below, you might notice how the cabinet below the sink doesn't go all the way to the floor. That's because the furnace is physically located below that, above that drawer that's sticking out right there. And they did that for a very good reason, because in a smaller floor plan like this, you have to kind of really be picky and choosy about where you put that. Now, a lot of brands will put it under the entertainment center, but that means that you lose that full walk-in pantry that we'll see in just a second. But first, notice that that TV can pivot out. Another option that's available here up top is not just the bigger air unit, but the larger fantastic style vent fan or max air vent fan or whatever you want to call it. Basically the larger vent fan here. So in addition uh, to the better cooling you can get from the air unit, if you just want to open the windows and get some cross breeze, you can get more airflow here. And this is what I was saying, if they would have put the furnace kind of behind the TV, uh, even on the floor level, you would have lost a chunk of this walk-in pantry. And I think this is awesome because this could be coat closet, broom closet, obviously got your pantry storage space, but frankly, you could play hide and seek in this thing. And that's a motion sensitive light. So it's kind of like that, uh, you know, does the refrigerator light turn off when you close the door? Well, the answer to that is it depends on you hit the switch because you can, you can turn it hard on, hard off, or you can put it to motion mode. There is an extra wide, uh, like I said, sliding privacy door here for the bedroom. And the uh, whether you get the um, farmhouse uh, decor or the cashmere decor, your bedroom will always be cashmere and your bathroom will always be farmhouse. So kind of keep that in mind. The only thing that you're really changing is a little bit of the living room and or kitchen uh, cabinetry. Although in a little floor plan like this, I think the farmhouse really brightens it up and makes it look and feel larger. There's some really cool things going on here in the bedroom, like every RV. There's little side stands with household outlets. It is nice that they give us just a ceiling switch for our, our lights, though. Inside of our hanging closets, you notice how they throw a removable shelf in there. So if you want more wardrobe space or more, uh, you know, cabinet closets, I can't even talk, dresser space, you got it. Neat shelf above the bed. 
I think that's just kind of an interesting thing to look at for the most part. I could see myself slide my phone or something up there, but what's really cool in this bedroom, you see how our hanging wardrobe closets, they don't go all the way up to the nose of the trailer. Behind those, in that little cubby hole back there, are outlets. It's a CPAP storage box, basically, so you can have that thing right up by your head. The uh, gentleman who designs these is a CPAP user himself, and he went camping one time, thought, man, there's got to be a better way. So he built a better mousetrap, basically. He built his own better way. And, of course, TV hookups on the wall over here. Perfect if you want to put a little swing-out TV. They have to put them on the wall because the sliding door is so big, it'd crush it if you put it on the uh, bedroom opposing wall, if you, as you were. I can't talk. Holy cow. Going the opposite direction from the bedroom to the rear bath area passing through the living room, you can see that direct facing entertainment center that we talked about before. And uh, this is kind of a neat shot to get to see how the windows are all fully framed out, even in the bathroom. They're just very detail oriented like that. And the slide end wall will always be kind of farmhouse accented with that sort of textured print on the, on the wall panel like you're seeing right there. Just the same thing that you saw up in the master bedroom. And I am glad that the one that came in today that I got to do the video on is the one with the optional L lounge so you can see how multifunctional this sucker is. It's a great seating area, but it's so much more than just seating. The end of the lounge, uh, you can see, has a nice gas strut to get to some easy access storage below there. And you see that handy little bracket sticking out. That is for the removable dining table that you can pop onto this thing and turn it into a little bit of a dinofa. Now that tabletop can be mounted either horizontally as we're seeing, or you can flip it 90 degrees, which is kind of cool for like almost a sort of Dinofa theater arrangement. And that's part of the reason I call this thing a Swiss Army sofa. But you could also call it a Swiss Army sleeper sofa because it does that too. Of course it does. Of course it does. Because kind of like a trifold sleeper sofa, you have a trifold sleeper sofa section. <laughs> so that's what's neat about the L lounge here. It's good for folks who are looking for just couples camping, but the extra storage, the guest sleeping space, the little lounge space, frankly, I mean, I could see myself popping that open, throwing a pillow against that wall there, and just stretching out on a rainy day, watching some Netflix or something like that if I got stuck in the RV. Although when I camp, I do definitely try to get out and about out of the RV. So another thing here, if I back up, you can see how that sleeper sofa does not block the RV from being accessed. So if you wake up at night, or in the morning or whatever, and you want to get through your camper, you can. I didn't mention it in the bedroom, but both the bedroom and bathroom with these XL sliding doors, they do have latches to keep them locked open or closed. And notice how they lock on the inside, and there's a, uh, a matching latch over here around the corner. So you can actually basically lock the sliding door from inside the bathroom, which is something most sliding doors just don't do. Now this bathroom, like I said, will always be farmhouse, and frankly, I think that's a good decision because it makes it look bigger, but the thing is, it doesn't just look bigger. It is bigger. Down below this mega countertop is the outside camp kitchen, and it's pretty good sized, which means the countertop above it has to be equally big in size. That's not a small sink. It's a massive countertop. Now you've got a dual cabinet situation, dual mirrors here, which the one on the left, a normal medicine cabinet, the one on the right is extra deep, which could very easily be used as linen space. So you're not relegated to, uh, you know, just like rolling up towels burrito style. But the thing is, I don't think you're going to need to, because if you look over here next to that shower, you've got another linen cabinet in here. So, I mean, this thing has excellent storage, and it is an easy step-in shower. That's roughly 30 by 36 inches, that shower pan. And uh, the uh, radius bar at the top here will really help people like me get some extra elbow room where you need it. Below the front bed, we've got that big pass-through storage compartment, but the doors are actually extra large so that if you have some taller, oddly shaped stuff, you have a bigger compartment here where you can put that and keeping some extra household outlets out there, uh, even separate from the TV hookups, which are uh, back above those Goodyear Endurance radial tires. Uh, you know, you're, there's there's always a time that you'll find some kind of use for them. So just the whole cosmetic look of this thing. God bless. That is just a smexy looking trailer right there. That nose cap, and it has uh, kind of blue lightsaber glow beam accents in it that I just don't have turned on right now because I am 
absolutely running low on 12 volt power that I use to record my videos currently. I cycle like four batteries. We've had so many RVs coming in, I just can't keep them topped off. So apologies if you can overlook that one transgression, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, this rides on a uh, Norco chassis, which is an, uh, made with HSLA steel, high strength, low alloy. What that means in English, lighter, but stronger. Not less expensive, though. Uh, you'll see the same chassis used on Passports and Winnebago's here at Halet RV. A couple other things uh, here and there will tend to use that. And it's always been my experience, brands that tend to use that chassis tend to hold up very nicely. This has, uh, they've kind of standardized the underbelly uh, insulation and extended season package here on the J Feathers. And basically, they just said, hey, we like what Whitehawk was doing. Copy, paste. So you have an enclosed, heated underbelly. Uh, insulated and you have a radiant barrier running through the slide floor. Um, I can't promise you that it's zero degree capable. I think it actually might be, but Jayco's never actually tested it, so I won't make a promise that they haven't. Also, I mentioned previously, but you have those best in class Goodyear endurance radials. Those things are rated for up to 87 miles an hour. Hope you're never towing that fast though. And it's kind of easy to miss, but all the hookups are just kind of really cluttered up onto this rear corner. and. It's one of the few times I'd ever say that clutter is a good thing. This also has the J Smart lighting system. It stands for signals, markers, and reverse travel. The white elements in these tail lights are the reverse travel aspect of that, just like when you shift into reverse on your vehicle. But uh, the extra clearance lights above and all of the side marker lights will blink along with the associated turn signal so that other drivers on the road actually have a clue what you're trying to do. Now, when you look at it, you say the 22RB is, and I even refer to it this way, the little brother to the 25RB. It's not much shorter. It's not much lighter. There's not a large price variance between the two of them. That's because this has that mega extended master bath in the back. Instead of a super slide, they kind of just borrowed some living space to create that huge rear bathroom. And when they did that, they were able to offer an absolutely awesome outside camp kitchen here in a floor plan that usually does not have this feature. Take a look at this thing. So you got the little leash latch on the back to keep an eye on your four-legged furry friend or frankly be able just to tie down your bicycles when you're not using them. You have a bumper grill mount um, or a bumper grill quick connect. And then over here, like you see the capital grill, which is a feature you find on like Eagle and North Point and Pinnacle fifth wheels all the way here in a J feather. That's awesome. This is all galvanized rolled steel counters. They even put like a little bumper on here so that the refrigerator door doesn't get dented up. That's detail. And that kind of detail on a completely revamped series of trailers, it's pretty awesome. That's, it's really awesome actually. Nice little appliance center in there with some household outlets. Cool little spice rack. And it's easy to miss, especially with the lighting that I have uh, right now. But you see they even have a handy little paper towel holder here and some more outlets back there. I mean, you know, lights in the camp kitchen. This, it, it's a killer camp kitchen. That's just really what they should call it on their floor plan schematics, I think. Killer camp kitchen. And then you can obviously see we've upgraded this to feature those more ride stable steps. And it's kind of funny. <laughs> Jay Feather's been so good, people keep asking us, uh, why it doesn't include White Hawk features. You know, they're like, hey, why doesn't it have frameless windows? Why doesn't it have a fireplace? And I think that's probably one of the biggest compliments that anybody could give the guy who designs White Hawks and Feathers. The fact that this feels so upscale that those are the kind of features that people are thinking of. They have just nailed this revamp. Hands down, most improved year to year. And we're not just walking on sunshine, we're walking on plywood, which was not a song by Katrina and the Waves, but it's a rather unique quality. And one of the things here, um, you know, Jayco's ultralights have never been the ultralightest out there, but part of it is because they refuse to scale back on their roof construction. The plywood roof decking, the Magnum truss system they have, the fact that this has the heaviest load bearing of anything, anything in this class and category. They're just not willing to let go of that. And I think that says a lot about their their goals, their integrity, and it all kind of ties into the fact that there is nobody else that builds a trailer like this that matches their warranty. And obviously you can see there's a lot of different brands here at Halet RV. They're all really cool for different reasons. They really are. Um, even so, I, I see stuff that we don't carry. And I'm like, man, that's cool. You know, there's a lot of fun stuff out there. That's the whole point of this industry. But that's why we carry all these things. They're all cool in different ways. 
So if you're not sure which one's the right one for you, you got questions, we have answers. All we need is just an email, a phone call, a smoke signal, <laughs> whatever, Morse code. Actually, if you got two Dixie cups and a string between them, we'll figure it out. <laughs> so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.